I mean, it's still so fresh. I know it looks like I've bounced back completely, but of course there's, there's times where I'll have my, my scares. Peyton Washington made national headlines when she was shot three times after a car mix up at an HEB parking lot. But today Peyton is almost fully recovered and back on the mat doing what she loves. This time it's at Baylor University. I was able to catch up with Peyton on campus to see how she's pushing forward. Mainly have classes from 9 a.m. to 12 and then practice from 2 to 7 and with weights and everything. So it's pretty busy. Less than six home. months ago, life for Peyton Washington was much different. I was texting my mom at the time about Baylor, trying to get everything done, all my applications in and everything. Like most high school seniors, she was preparing for the next chapter in life. But then the unthinkable happened. It was any other Monday a practice week, just like every week towards the end of the season, getting ready to compete for one of the biggest competitions in cheerleading. After cheer practice, Peyton and her friends carpooled to a local HEB in Elgin. My friend was trying to get into her car or what she thought was her car. She got in the wrong car, came back in our car and just explained saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to this other man's car. That man later identified as 25 year old Pedro Rodriguez Jr. Police say he got out of his car and approached the car Peyton and her friend was in. It was about five seconds. I heard the gunshots. An innocent misunderstanding leading to gunfire. So I was shot three times, two in my my left let my right leg, butt area, and then one through my back, which shattered my spleen. I had two shots in my diaphragm two in my stomach, and then they had to remove a lobe from my pancreas. Peyton's recovery, nothing short of a miracle. I am on antibiotics for about a year, taking one every morning and every night. So it is a little bit of a change, medically speaking, but I know that I can do it. That same can-do attitude is why Peyton was able to graduate high school and now pursue her collegiate career. In the beginning, of course, there was a lot of tears and just going from that one week before being in the best shape of my life to not having to completely restart. But at Baylor, Peyton's been able to focus on her faith. Coming to Baylor, that's really helping me make sure to stay connected with God. And find a new fellowship among her acrobatics and tumbling team. They were they were there at the hospital the first day. We cried together. I just I could genuinely see the support that they had for me, and I knew that this was going to be a team that I was with a family for the rest of my life. A resilient and determined spirit now finding peace at her home away from home. I want them to see positive Peyton, athlete Peyton. So I'm just really trying to make sure that I can push myself forward and not thinking about the past. I'm I'm working hard every single day getting back to where I was. She has that go getter mentality. I love it. Well, Peyton hopes to make the acrobatics team starting lineup for the upcoming season. She's also majoring in business, hoping to go into medical sales when she graduates.